My name is Dylan Costanet, and today I'll be giving you a summarized and exaggerated version of my time at high school. For starters, I ran out of district to attend the STEM program at Mount Lake Terrace High School. Easily the best decision of my life, but for the first few years, it was a little rough. I was a sloppy kid, and I just breezed through classes and gave effortless work, even in classes that I absolutely loved, like photography. I want nothing more than to be able to go back and just yell at myself to do more than just the barest minimum in that class. But I guess I just like to procrastinate. Regardless, I always manage to get my work done more or less on time. For example, in my Intro to Engineering class, we had this Friday project that just had to be completed by the end of the year and could be about whatever we wanted. I decided to try and make an LED cube. Pretty cool idea, it's just a cube of LEDs that can be programmed to have a bunch of different patterns and all sorts of different colors. I finished mine about two days after it was due. But, I had to rush through during those last two days because I had started the day it was due, essentially. And when rushing through, I accidentally burned my hand. You might think I'd use that as an excuse. You can't burn with solder with a burned hand. No. All I did was take a five minute break, got a bottle, filled it with ice water, stuck my finger in until I couldn't feel it anymore, and got right back to work. And at the end of those two days, my project didn't work. And I was trying to test it, figure out what the issue was, maybe I could fix it, and instead, I couldn't. I ended up burning out my power supply, and I had to switch to a nine volt battery, and that just wouldn't support what I had in mind. And while I was testing it, I LED exploded in my face. Most people might think, oh no, not only does my project not work now, but LEDs are exploding. I thought something a little more along the lines of, hey, LEDs are exploding, this is great. And I realized when testing it, you could almost predict which LEDs would explode or fizzle out. And so I remarketed my cube as 3D minus cube. <laughs> and I ended up getting an A on that project, even though I was two days late. Now, I'd like to jump ahead to my junior year. In my junior year, I took an online class, personal finance. It was unbearable to me because the videos were just so boring to me. And by the end of the year, about three weeks to go, I was only 50% done. And I figured, all right, I've wasted enough time. I'll go out and finish it this weekend. Then I got an email from my teacher saying, you have until Friday to complete the course or you're gonna be in a little bit of trouble. I started to panic a little bit, but then I got to work and I went to bed at 1 a.m. And I woke up, went to school, got back to work on it, went to bed at 1 a.m. and I was done. Ahead of schedule, with a pretty decent grade if I do see some of myself. Now, for my senior, for my senior project, I wanted to make a game because I had gone out of district to attend the STEM program because I've always wanted to be a game designer. So I knew that was something I had to do. And I started it in my junior year, and I knew that I wouldn't have the time for a full game. Nothing would be good enough, and I just didn't have the time or resources. It was just me, and so at the recommendation of my teacher, I came up with a gimmick for it. What I would do was tell my story entirely through music, and what I did was that. I took it to competition after, you know, working on it for hours outside of school because I wanted to be the best I could. It was great, right? No, oh, I had almost nothing done, sorry, Lafferty, and it was terrible. But I did get some great information from it. Like, you know what's a great idea for your senior project? Not a video game. Because what I had essentially done was bring an art project, very respectable in its own right, but to an engineering fair, and they just didn't mix that well. And so for my senior year, I knew I had to do a little bit more refined. And so I used another piece of information that I had got. And that was that you really can't tell a story using only music. But what you can do is use music to convey emotions, and from those emotions, tell a story. And then, of course, I worked hard at that idea. Not exactly. I tried to do some stuff, but for two weeks, I was really just looking at music online. It was cheap music. I didn't know how I would get a relative value for emotions so that people wouldn't be confused by the story. And then it hit me. While I was looking at sheet music, 
I noticed that you could almost find the slope of music. And from there, I knew I would be using notes. A short while later, I knew I had to consider the tempo of the song, the timestamp, and the duration of the notes. And of course, now all I had to do was just get values for all the notes, plug them into a spreadsheet, have modifiers run, and I'd have a great project. It was basically data entry at that point. So of course, I spent the next months working on spreadsheet after spreadsheet, compiling thousands of data points, right? No, I spent two weeks writing out five measures by hand. I spent a week just listening to music to make sure, hmm, are these emotional ranges right? It was a waste of my time. But I took a little pride in being technically ahead of the rest of my class. And by the time, two weeks before our first competition, the Central Sound Science Regional Engineering Fair, I had 30 points of data. By the week before, I had 600. By the next week, I had 600. I did nothing that week. I just procrastinated all the time. And on that night before, I knew my project just wasn't that great. Didn't have the data it needed at all. What I should have done was just take a page out of last year's playbook, spend $200 on burgers, and have people enter data for me. Could have had thousands in a night. But no, I just wasted my time. And I knew that my project wasn't good enough and that it was my own fault. And I had nothing way around that. I was worried I wouldn't even be able to qualify for the competition properly and that I might end up being not able to graduate because I needed this English credit. And I had kind of resigned myself to that thing. So I get to the competition, set up my board, and was about to go talk off with some friends because we had to stand for six hours. I like my project, but standing for six hours is pretty boring. And just before I left, a guy came up to me and started reading my board. Then I, of course, waited, and he asked me a question. What'd you write your algorithm in? I panicked. I didn't write any code. I only used the word algorithm in my project title because it sounded right. No one ever challenged me, so I figured I was OK. I wasn't. <laughs> and then I tried to come up with some BS. Oh, well, the songs are run through a series of modifiers that make all, and he just cut me off and said, but what did you write the algorithm in? I didn't know what else to say, so I just said Excel. And then he said, so you didn't write an algorithm. And I knew I didn't have any way around it, so I just said yes. Then I knew I was probably going to get disqualified and not be able to graduate. Then he said, are you going to contend with it? I said, Yes, I had the faintest glimmer of hope that I would be able to graduate. And I was OK with that. And then, not only did he just walk off and say, all right, cool, whatever, kid, but he uh, reached into his pocket, pulled out his wallet, and gave me a business card and said, call me when the algorithm is done. I had done well. Well, my idea was done well. I was still procrastinating way too much. But what I'm trying to say is, yes, I spend too much time on my phone. I finished writing this speech on a four-hour car trip the day it was due. I finish projects the day they're due, finish homework, the, start homework the day it's due, and I finished memorizing this speech like 20 minutes ago, and honestly, I added a lot during this speech that wasn't there when I practiced it 20 minutes ago. <laughs> but I think I ended up with something all right, and that's why everyone here did. Thank you for listening to my TED Talk.